In this video, we're going to take a look at a feature of Word called Center Tab Stops. Center Tab Stops are used to center text around a point on a line. And before we actually take a look at Center Tab Stops, we're just going to do a little bit with Left Tab Stops first. So I'm going to hit the Tab key, I'm going to type in a little bit of junk, and hit Tab, and type a little bit of junk, and hit Tab, and type in a little bit of junk. So I've got three tab characters on that line. I'm going to go down the next line, I'm going to do the same thing. And one more line. Okay, so I've got different amounts of text. I've got um, all of my text separated by tabs. And by default, the tab stops are every half inch. So the first tab stop is going to be right here underneath the half inch mark, and everything is lined up. Now, this text is really short, so that one happens to go underneath the... Uh, one inch mark for the next text but this one is too long and this one is too long they go past the one inch mark so the next text on the first and third lines here is going to go to the one and a half inch mark okay and then this one goes to the two inch mark this one goes to two inch mark this one's a little too long and it goes to the two and a half inch mark okay so that's what you get with default tab stops uh, you don't really want to use default tab stops most of the time you want to set your own so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go back to my tabs over here on the left side, and I'm just going to click a few times and cycle through until I get back to a center tab, which is the upside-down T. If you pause the mouse there, you should get a little tooltip that says center tab. And I'm going to put a center tab on the one-inch mark. I'm going to put a center tab, let's say, on the two-and-a-half-inch mark. And I'm going to put a center tab on, let's try the four-and-a-half-inch mark over here. And now the tab character takes you to this next tab stop. So setting this tab stop wiped out everything to the left of it. So those default tab stops are gone. This one uh, deleted the default tab stops to its left. This one deleted the default tab stops to its left. So there's still default tab stops after the last tab stop that I create. So there's one here at five and five and a half and six. Okay. So now I've got stuff centered. And this stuff is centered uh, directly below that tab stop on the one inch mark. If you check the line, you should see equal amounts of text on either side of that dotted line. Uh, same thing over here and same thing over here. If I decide I want to change the center tab stops, uh, all I have to do is select the lines, drag my text left or right. Now there's obviously going to be a limit how far I can drag it here because I'm going to start running into the other text. But Let's say I want it the one and a half inch mark instead of the one inch mark. Uh, just select them all and drag your tab stop setting up here on the ruler and everything will line up nicely underneath. Now, if all you want to do uh, is center stuff on the line, so let's say I've got a little bit of text here and a little bit of text here and a little bit of text here, and I want those things to be centered on the line, uh, you don't need tab stops. All I have to do is go to center alignment up here and that will automatically align my text midway between the left margin marker over here and the right margin marker over here. So uh, I've got six and a half inches of room for text. Half of that would be three and a quarter. So if I just click right here and see the line that extends down from that point, you can see it is cutting the text in half. So if all you want to do is just center something between the margins, uh, you don't even have to bother with tab stops at all. You can just do the center alignment. One thing you do need to be careful of with center alignment is uh, this stuff is perfectly centered. Uh, if these lines happen to have a first line indent, and I'm going to kind of exaggerate this and do a one inch first line indent, uh, this is no longer centered below the three and a half inch mark on my ruler. So it is not centered between the margins. What it is centered between is it's centered between this first line indent because each one of these is the first line of a, of a one line paragraph and the right indent margin marker over here. So that is five and a half inches. So half of that would be two and three quarters. And if I add one onto that, so I'm going to go two and three quarters past the one, uh, past the one inch mark. So there's one, two and three quarters. So this should be halfway between the two markers, and if I click right there and check out the vertical line going down, you can see the text is centered around that vertical line. So um, it's not going to be centered on the page. 
or between the margins, it's going to be centered between the margin markers, the first line indent, and the right side indent. So that's just one thing you need to be aware of if you try to do center alignment. Uh, know that that first line of the paragraph, uh, if it's indented, it will be centered between the margin mark on the left and the margin mark on the right, not necessarily centered on the page.